Well, 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 looks like Ecovacs done again. They released a new model. Yes, it's all white, and this is the Ecovacs Osmo DBot T8 Plus. The T8 Plus is very similar to its brother, the T8 AI VI. So, unlike the AI VI one that uses a camera system, this uses a true depth 3D sensor. So, what it allows it to do is recognize small objects, also wire chair legs. You can see it can effectively navigate around these obstacles without bumping into them. Here at Roller Masters, I have reviewed a bunch of different types of robot vacuums. The cheapest having infrared sensors and also paired up with the physical bump sensor. With this combination, it's the cheapest, but it also provides an effective ability to detect objects. Now, with more advanced sensors like sonar sensors, camera-based systems, even a 3D laser system, they can recognize objects in real time. And it looks like the T8 Plus may take it a step further by recognizing the smallest objects I've seen yet. Well, in this video, we'll see if any of the roll-up vacuums I currently own can compete with the T8 Plus True Depth Sensor, and we're going to see how well these roll-up vacuums can detect different types of objects. Alright, let's get started. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Nathan, this is Roll Masters. Hope you're having a great day today, because I'm having an awesome day. Thanks for asking. Okay, so I do apologize for the background noise. Yes, my neighbor decided to trim the trees the same time I'm filming his craziness. I don't know why he did it. Maybe just like me filming. Who knows? Alright, so in this video we're going to talk about the front facing object recognition technology or obstacle avoidance technology on these different types of robot vacuums and we'll see which one's the best. Alright, let's get started. So the very cheapest and most commonly used technology is a physical bump sensor plus a suite of infrared sensors in the front here. This helps slow down the robot before it hits an obstacle. Usually they don't avoid the obstacle, they usually just slightly bump into it. So I'll showcase how well that technology works. For this example, I'm using the iLife A4S Pro. As you can see, I have a bunch of clear objects. I also have black objects. I have some small objects as well, so we can see how well these raw vacuums can detect the small objects. The A4S Pro is one of the cheapest raw vacuums I own, about $150, but does have a charger base so the robot can go back and recharge itself when it detects that its battery is low or if it determines if the area is clear. You can see that it bumps into most of the objects, and if it detects an object, it actually will slow down, like on the shoes and the black objects. So yes, the infrared sensors can't detect the clear objects, but it does slow down on like the larger objects. And you can see that it does struggle with the smaller objects, it doesn't see them, kind of pushes them around. Okay, so let me know in the comments how you would judge this competition. I think that if it was able to push the object around and not really knock it over, I won't dock any points. But it does get a point docked for getting hung up on a shoe. Most robot vacuums do struggle on shoelaces, so uh, this is nothing new. But I would give a couple points off for knocking over the two water bottles. But for the most part, the A4S Pro, despite having the cheaper sensors, did a fair job picking up the plastic beads. Also was able to push around the objects without really getting stuck. Well, what do you think about the A4S Pro? Now the same technology is found on more expensive robot vacuums like this LiDAR based one. This one uses the same technology, physical bump sensor, and also that infrared sensor right there. Okay, so the 360 S6 ups the ante with the LiDAR navigation. So with LiDAR based robot vacuums, expect all the smart mapping features, keep out zones, area select, room select, all that fun jazz. I would say that the 360 S6 is a little aggressive since it did knock over the clear water bottles and it did get hung up on that shoelace, so it missed a couple points there. But the other objects, the 360 S6 did fine and was able to slow down on the black objects, but for the smaller objects, it kind of pushed the objects around, but it's not a big deal since it was able to capture the beads. I tried to keep the test as fair as possible and I make sure the robot's on its highest power section. Also, I make sure that it does a double run. So with the 360 lineup, they actually do a crisscross pattern. So it'll actually start in one direction. Once it's done with that pattern, it'll actually start in the other direction, which is a nice feature. So it makes sure it gets the beads in both directions. So the last thing I want to say is the S6 has one of the best dual side brushes I've seen. Along the edges, they speed up thanks to its decay wall sensor, and in the open areas, they slow down to prevent the scatter of debris. Alright, so it looks like it's done. Okay, so there's something that you never heard of. Yes, this is the Rollybot Laser Eye. This actually has a 3D laser system. Yes, a 3D laser system, and it does really well avoiding smaller objects. Okay, stop right now. Okay, maybe I spoke too soon. The Rollybot Laser Eye uses a very unique 3D laser system. So unlike most LiDAR based robot vacuums that have like a spinning dome on top, this is actually internal so there's no actual hump for the robot vacuum to get hung up on. 
So it's interesting that Rollybot actually did away with this model. This was their flagship bottle a couple years ago. And if you go to their website, they don't sell this model anymore or they haven't upgraded the model. So what plagued this model was the navigation abilities and software updates. I stopped receiving updates about a year ago. So it's kind of unfortunate. It does have the hardware to do a really good job avoiding obstacles, but the software was kind of plagued. So you can see that the robot did struggle with the smaller obstacles and also that shoestrings. So if you're in the market for a lot of vacuum, I highly recommend looking at your floor plan. If you live in a one bedroom apartment, I don't recommend a lighter based raw vacuum because it's kind of overkill. You really don't need that smart lighter navigation. You could benefit from a random navigation robot. But if you have a multi-story house, 2,000 square feet or more, a lot of base raw vacuum is definitely ideal. Also, some support multiple mappings. Like the 360 model, you can have up to 10 different maps. Okay, let's get into some more advanced raw vacuums. Next, we have Sonar. This is found on a 360 S9. Now, with the Sonar sensor, it's not affected by black objects or clear objects. So, it should do really well detecting objects and going around them. At the time of filming, the 360 S9 is one of the latest models from the 360 lineup. So with this new model, it actually has a similar design as like the Roblox. It utilizes a single side brush and a dedicated wall sensor. So when the robot goes around the edges, it actually speeds up to help kick the debris waste from your baseboards. And in open areas, it actually will slow down. As you can see, it knocked over the two clear water bottles, also moved around the small toys. But with the shoestring it did really well, was able to spit it out if it did get wrapped around the extractor bar. The sonar sensor was able to detect the large objects, but unfortunately the small objects, the robot just pushed them around. But it didn't get hung up or anything, so that's a plus. Now with sonar sensors, it has a very narrow field of range, so it would be better if it had sonar sensors all around the robot, so it can detect at 360 degrees. But maybe in future models, this will be something they can consider. Like its younger brother, the S6, the S9 can incorporate a crisscross pattern. Also goes around objects it detects to help clean around them. So next we got a camera system. Depending on what model you have, like on a T8 it's a single camera system. But on this S6 Max V it has a dual camera system. And it's great for recognizing obstacles. And we'll see how well this system works. The S6 Max V has a unique proposition, it actually has two cameras and one of the cameras is a night vision camera so if you're using the live streaming capabilities, you can actually see the video feed in complete darkness. The theory behind the stereo camera system is to help with depth perception, so kind of like how humans see, they use two eyeballs to help determine how far away an object is. The robot initially did really well avoiding the obstacles, but over time the robot kind of forgot where the obstacles were and kind of pushed them around. So that's one thing that Roblox can work on is the navigation and the placement of obstacles once it detects obstacles. Now one thing to remember is the narrow field of view of these camera systems. Um, the robot has to be facing forward for it to effectively recognize the objects. Camera systems are affected by shadows and lighting, so they may not be 100% accurate when recognizing objects. Also, if you worry about privacy concerns, you may want to consider like the T8 Plus, which does have a camera system, but can recognize objects just as well as these camera-based robot vacuums. Well, it looks like the S6 Max V might be defeated by the shoe. Okay, well, I guess I misspoke. Looks like the S6 Max V is a truly smart robot vacuum and was able to free itself. Okay, well that was just a quick video of how well these raw vacuums navigate these type of objects. Now here's the results. The top left is the 360S6. We got the Rollybot laser eye in the middle. We got the top right is the 360S9. We got the A4S in the bottom left and the bottom right is the Roblox S6 Max V. Make sure you like and subscribe to this video. Well, I hope you like this video and depending on what type of model you're looking into, you may look at the front facing sensors to determine what is best for you. All right, have a great rest of your day. I'll see you guys next time.